just look like a melted marshmallow. Hey y'all, what's up? I hope you're having a good day. And today we are gonna see if I can make something work. Um, I just posted in my empties video a couple videos ago that I tried to make this mask from Maskology work. This is the Kaolin Clay Modeling Peel Off Mask with Pearl Powder. Um, it is supposed to purify, calm, firm, and brighten your skin. It comes in a little dilly like this. It has powder in here with a pre-measured little paper cup. Add water to it. It has a spatula. Mix it all up. It is supposed to firm up into like a rubbery thick consistency and you just peel it off and you're supposed to have magical skin. But I could not make this work the last time that I tried it. Um, I really wish that I would have filmed it, but I didn't. I did all the directions like it says on here. It would not work. You can see my frustration in that previous video. I'll link it down below. But it, it wasn't happening. But today I'm going to do it a little bit differently. This is a ceramic bowl measuring cup. And I'm going to be putting the powder in here, then pouring in the water and mixing it up with the spatula. So let's get on with directions. It says you need to cleanse your face, remove your makeup and any environmental toxins. Pour in two cups of water with the cup provided inside. You need to mix for one minute until it's a thick paste with the spatula that is provided. The spatula is pretty dope, so I am going to keep it after this. Um, then you're going to put a thick, even layer on to clean dry skin using the spatula supplied and quickly spread in upward strokes to the chin, nose, and forehead. The thicker and more uniform the application, the easier it will be to remove in one piece. Let's see if we can do that. Then we're going to leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes until it hardens to a rubbery consistency. Uh, to remove it, you peel it off and then wipe off any excess with a damp cotton ball. No need to rinse. Um, continue with your daily skincare regimen and it's recommended to use two to three times a week. So I'm actually going to adjust the camera so we can get some action shots of me mixing this up and seeing what it does. Because last time, we already know it was a hot mess. So. Let's get into it. So I'm just gonna be using some bottled water that I have here to mix it up. So we're going to open it. And okay, this is so messy by the way. There's still a ton in here. Let's see, and on the instructions here, it says pour two cups of water with the cup provided to mix. I'm going to mix this up and from last time whenever I tried to do this I like you need to work pretty fast because it tries to firm up way too fast and this is already looking 10 times better than what it did before okay so I think I have it mixed up enough going to adjust the camera so we can apply it to my face. All right, so we're back and we are ready to apply this onto my face. And I do want to note that I don't have anything on my skin. Um, my skin was cleansed, moisturized, all of my normal skincare routine stuff hours ago. Um, the only thing that I have on is a little bit of brow gel, some mascara, and some lip balm. Okay. Actually... I need to move my mirror because I can't see. Okay. This is already 100 times better than whenever I first tried it. It kind of has like a smell to it. I can't really think what it is. It's like, I don't know. It smells like a weird cookie. I can't, it kind of smells like a waffle cone, like, but barely smells like a waffle cone. I don't know. This is like a completely different face mask now, but, you know, of course that I do it on camera and I was bitching about it the other day, like, and it's completely different now. Oh, it's so cold though. 
Oh, but I got this one from Walmart. So whenever I got this one, I also got this one. It's like an O2 bubble anti-pollution mask. And it like bubbles and suds up, so. If you want to see me do that one, I'll probably do it on Snapchat one day. Probably soon, because I love to do masks. And get up here. Oh, cool. Okay, so, pro tip, um, don't mix this in the bag like it says to. Mix it in a bowl. Well, this totally isn't a fail like it was whenever I tried it before, so. I thought this video was going to be really funny, but I just look like a melted marshmallow. I am going to set my timer for 15 minutes, and I'll be right back, and we'll see how this is looking. Three, two. So it's been 15 minutes, uh, let me take a look at it close up, uh, it is getting a little white around the edges where it's drying around like my chin and like my neck right here, it is super loose and around my mouth it's getting really loose as well. It is completely dry though so I think I am going to go ahead and peel it all off and see what my skin feels like. Okay, so I have all of the excess removed, and I mean, overall, my skin really doesn't feel any different. It has like a softness to it. I do have some really weird like red irritation right here around my mouth. Um, it might feel a little bit smoother. It doesn't look different. I mean, all in all, it was kind of like fun and like funny looking and stuff. Um, I will say that like on the inside of the mask where it was touching your face, you can definitely see where your pores were. Go away. But like I said, you can definitely see where it was settling into your pores. And it does look like it got like a fair amount of dry looking dead skin on. So all in all, it didn't do anything miraculous to my skin, but it was funny as hell looking. I looked like a melting sandman. If you want to get it, it's fun. Definitely use a different bowl to mix it up in because trying to mix it up in this package is going to be an absolute disaster. So that is all that I have for y'all today. I hope that you enjoyed it and had fun. Um, I hope that it was entertaining enough because the mask actually worked. So I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Start from the cheeks and spread. Spread. Look at that. Oh.